Well, here's the progress of the Suzuki. It's actually 350, not 300. So, let's see if we can get her to go. I want to turn the key on. Car battery check. Starting fluid. Here we go. I say that's pretty dang on good. So I just need to take the carburetor off, clean it up real good, let her soak, plunge everything out of it, put the carburetor on, redo the wires that they added on, the winch. This was actually pretty cool. I didn't realize it, but this actually has heated handle grips. Um, that was really awesome to find that out. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. She is almost there. Also got another one over here. She runs. So, uh, I just picked this one up not too long ago. And that one was given to me for some repairs that I did on his. He had another one, and he gave me this one. So, but yeah, mighty freaking cool. She actually starts. And, uh, only... 1800 miles so uh, I'll also have to clean that gas tank out I'm not sure how, how that's going to go <laughs> so stay tuned it's uh, really freaking cool that this thing starts up just moments ago the piston was uh, locked up in it now she's free and she moves oh and the other thing I gotta fix is the uh, front differential lock the cable snapped so I'm probably going to do away with this here it might be this bike or that bike I'll get rid of these levers and mount them somewhere else and then I'm going to take that gas tank out of there and I'm going to mount a gas tank on top because these things I don't know if you're familiar with them but boy they're a pain in the butt when uh, you can't get that fuel to move, you won't get back to the carburetor. Usually you end up killing your battery or burn your starter up before it starts up. So, because it's not gravity fed, it has a uh, fuel pump right there. And even brand new, I uh, still have issues with that on each one of these. And I honestly think that that's what causes people not to like these bikes. Because these things are quite a mule and they will pull the crap out of stuff. So, that's going to be my modifications on this bike or that bike over there. And see, see what the difference is, see how it performs. I haven't quite decided where I'm going to put these levers. But, I might bring them on the outside. That's what I'll do. Split the bracket in half, and then I'll weld one bracket over here and weld the other bracket over there. But then the reverse, I think I will bring up here in the front, uh, down on the frame, going downwards over there. And uh, then we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, stay tuned, and uh, keep you guys informed. Have a good one.